Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to configure the Salesforce LWC Lightning Web Component in the user access. All right, so uh, before we get into it, let me just explain a little bit about the Lightning Web Component with uh, the Titan Web. So what this uh, will enable you to do is two things. The first thing is, is to revoke access to the outside world only within Salesforce either uh, standard Salesforce or Salesforce community will have access to your Titan web project. The second thing is, is a great easy way to embed your Titan web project in Salesforce. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. We have a, a simple uh, charts, one of them bringing in contacts, the other one bringing in cases and opportunities. Um, all pie charts and let's take a look at our Salesforce integration real quick so we have a chart for opportunity case um, and then we have we're bringing in with the view a table of cases a table of opportunities and chart of contacts and for the contacts we'll be able to create a new contact as well we have a push for the contact and everything is running off of the if I'll head over to the tools and I'll take a look at the custom variables. I have custom variable name account ID in the project level. And on this condition, once this is not empty, then we're running the chart gets. Now I'm showing you this for a reason. And let's head over to the user access LWC. Click this. And let's configure it. So we'll talk about the use Salesforce session in just a minute. In this instance, we're just going to leave it empty. And then we're going to tell Titan, please map the record ID from Salesforce into something. So we can map it into anything on the, uh, on the project. What we want to map it to is what we're running our gets from. And our gets, all the gets are based on the account ID. So I'll map it to my project parameter account ID. I'll hit apply and I'll save it. And now let's try and refresh. This is my uh, published. So let's publish it. This is my published um, Titan web project. And if I'll refresh it now, I'll get this document as disabled. Just like I've mentioned before, once we enable the Lightning Web Component for Salesforce, then your document will not be accessible from the outside world. All right, so let's head over to uh, an account page. And what I will do is set up edit page. And I didn't mention, but we have the uh, Titan Digital Experience package installed on, our, um, on my environment here. What I will do is search Titan, and I have Titan LWC. Uh, let's click over here, and I'll add a new tab, and I'll call it Titan. Obviously, I can embed it anywhere I like. Let's just put it over here, so it'll be clean and nice. Now, the only thing then that we need to give this component is the Titan URL, which is right at our publish URL and we'll grab that we'll hit save and we'll be able to preview it already from now okay so let's save this let's go back to the account and let's see how this does so I'll click on the Titan automatically it will resize to our uh, to the our project length and from here, I can click view. I can see all the cases, and obviously, I can bring a lot more data. It's just how I built it, just for this uh, demonstration. And this is the opportunity amount. Okay, this is really cool. Let me show you something real nice. So, you see, we have USA, UK, Israel, and Thailand. Let's add another one for um, Israel. So Mr. D, and I'll do Israel, and I'll save the contact. 
Now watch this. The minute that I save it, my component refreshes. All right, so this is really, really cool. Now let's talk about the use Salesforce session. Now this is very, very important um, to understand, and it's a really cool feature. So we'll head back to the user access, Salesforce at the see, and we have the use Salesforce session. Once we enable this, since we have, you can have multiple users in your Salesforce, community users, standard users, users with different profiles, what this will do is, whatever you read and write to Salesforce, whatever is in your Salesforce integ integration, push or get, will run on that logged in user. So let's say if we're logged in as a community user right now, and that user will create a contact, it will be a created, uh, the created by will be that community user. B, if it doesn't have access to create this object, it will not be able to create it. We will get a, an error from Salesforce. And the same goes for reading. For whatever we, whatever gets we run, we will get the same. Uh, we will get an error if the user doesn't have an access. So this is something to remember that if you use the Salesforce session, make sure that whatever users are using it will have access to all the objects that they need to re read and write from. All right, so let me show you a quick example for this. So I have a clean project here, and let's just go and put an input field, and I'll keep it real simple just so you understand the concept. Okay, um, let's just rename this to last name And what we will do here is add a button and we'll do save contact. The only thing we'll map is the last name because the uh, last name is mandatory. Let's just uh, put it like so. And what we can do is interactivity, on click, action, Salesforce action configure integration and we'll push a contact um, before we do it let's just add a global parameter so I'll head over to tools custom variables I'll do static I'll call it account ID just put it like so and I will apply and let's go ahead and configure our Salesforce action. So push, I'll create a new one. And the action is create. Let's map our field real quick. So the account ID will go to our global parameter account ID. This, is, this, this one will pass using the lightning web component. The last name will map to the last name. And that should do it. And now on the on click, we'll run the push. I'll apply it. And let's save. And now let's go ahead and head over to user access, Salesforce LWC, use Salesforce session, map record ID to my account ID. All right, we'll save this. Perfect. Now let's publish. And I'll grab this and I'll head over to set up I'm gonna put it in a community just so you see how this uh, how this works so we'll go to all sites and I'll head over to my builder and let's put it in the account detail page so we're learning also how to embed in a community so I'm just gonna head over to my account detail page in the community and similar to the standard Salesforce, the only thing we need to do is search for Titan LWC and I'll put it over here. You can place it anywhere you like and I'll put my publish URL. The other thing we need to do is to tell the community what are we passing. In our instance, it's the record ID and it should look like so. Perfect. And let's publish our 
um, community. Okay, so I'm logged in to the community over here. And let's find, let's say, Edge. I'll go to the account detail page. And let's create a contact. So we'll say contact from LWC community and save contact. Wonderful. Let's head over to Salesforce and I'll look for Edge and let's head over to Contacts. We'll take a look at all of them. Give it a little refresh and we can see that our contact from LWC community is in here. If we'll take a look at the details, I can see that the contact owner is Jack Rogers which, which is our community user and the created by is Jack Rogers as well. So uh, we can also view it directly from here. If we'll go to Salesforce and integration logs and we can see our contact was created and this is our contact. Now again, if we didn't have, if the, the community user didn't have permissions to create contacts, um, or to view something if it would be running get, then we will not be able to save it or get an error. And that's how it's done.